Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix kernel security check failure in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Kernel security check failure is a common error that occurs on Windows operating system, typically accompanied by blue screen of death. It indicates that a critical component of the operating system known as kernel has detected a security violation or an issue with the integrity of the system. This error is often related to the hardware or software conflicts, outdated or incompatible drivers, corrupted system files, or issues with memory or disk errors. It can also occur due to malware infection or faulty hardware. However, don't worry, here are some certain fixes to fix kernel security check failure in Windows 11 and Windows 10. So, let's get started. Sometimes the error can be temporarily and a simple restart might easily fix that issue. So try to restart your computer by pressing and hold down the power button before moving forward to any advanced method. Create a power interruption by pressing and hold down the power button for 3 to 5 seconds during startup. Do this for 3 to 4 times, then it will take you to the Diagnose and Automatic Repair log. If you are lucky, Windows Automatic Repair tool automatically fix your problem. If Windows unable to repair this error, then click on Advanced option, then Troubleshoot. Again click on Advanced option, then Startup Settings, and click Restart. Select Safe Mode with Networking by pressing F5 key on the keyboard and make sure your PC connected with the internet. Safe mode loads the operating system with minimal drivers and services, which can help isolate the cause of the error. When the kernel security check failure error occurs, the computer may automatically restart, making it difficult to diagnose the issue. To disable automatic restart, go to Windows Search and search for Advanced System Settings. Under the Startup and Recovery section, click on Settings. Uncheck the box next to Automatic Restart and click OK. This will prevent the computer from restarting after the error occurs and allowing you to see any error message or codes. While in safe mode, access the device manager by right click on Windows Start and update any outdated or incompatible drivers. Right click on the problematic device, select update driver and choose the option to search automatically for updated driver software. Repeat this process for other devices if necessary. In safe mode, open the command prompt as an administrator and run the command sfc forward slash scan now. Keep patience and wait for the scan to complete. Ok, as you can see the message, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations or if you see the message Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them then no problem. After that restart your computer and hopefully your problem will be solved. In safe mode open the command prompt as an administrator and run the following command chkdsk space 
योर सिस्टम ड्राइव लेटर कोलोन स्पेस फॉर स्लैस एफ एंड प्रेस एंटर दिस कमांड विल स्कैन योर सिस्टम ड्राइव फॉर एरर्स एंड अटेम्प टू फिक्स देम If you recently installed new software, drivers or updates, try uninstalling or roll back those changes to see if the error is resolved. Go to Windows search and search for add or remove program. Now you can uninstall the problematic driver, software or updates from here and restart your computer and see if the error is resolved. Check for any issues with your RAM. Go to Windows Search and search for Memory Diagnostic Tool. This will help you to see any error message or diagnose the issue with your RAM modules. If you can't access the safe mode, you should have a Windows instruction media. If you don't know how to make it, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Insert your Windows instruction USB and boot your computer from it. Select your language preferences and click next and click repair your computer. Select troubleshoot to access advanced recovery option. Then select command prompt. In the command prompt, enter the following command. In the command prompt, enter the following command sfc space for slash scan now space for slash of boot dot equals to your system drive letter colon backup slash space for slash of winder equals to your system drive letter and press enter. If you see the message Windows Resource Protection could not start the repair service. Then specify the system root directory and press enter. The SFC scan will check for and repair any corrupt system files that may be causing the current security check failure error. Keep patience and wait for the scan to complete. After that, you should see the message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Or if you see Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, then no problem. Run Deployment, Image Servicing and Management Scan. In the command prompt, enter the following command.
in command prompt type dism space for slash image colon your system drive letter colon backward slash space for slash cleanup hyphen image space for slash restore health space for slash source colon your windows installation media drive letter colon backward slash source backward slash install dot wim or install dot esd and press enter the dism scan will check the windows image for corruption and attempt to repair it using the installation media as a source please keep patience and allow the scan to complete after the sfc and dism scans finish close the command prompt and select turn off your pc from the options after that remove the windows installation media and then turn your pc back on after that hopefully your problem will be solved go to your computer into advanced startup option you can use a windows installation usb or dvd to boot from your computer in the advanced startup option menu select troubleshoot after that select system restore the system restore utility will present you with a list of available system restore points select a restore point that predates the occurrence of the kernel security check failure error you can use the date and the description of the each restore point as a reference and click next to continue review the restore point details and confirm your selection click finish to begin the restoration process please keep patience until the restoration process is finishes please do not interrupt the process and allow it to complete once the restoration is finished you will prompt it to restart screen if the error no longer appears the system restore process was successful in resolving the issue so i hope this guide was helpful for you if you have any question then please let us know please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day